Roof Mount Whole House Fan 4.0 comes in two configurations that include damper grills. These models were designed for homes with little to no attic space. This installation will use the rafter space in between the roof and the ceiling as a chase for the air to travel. In this installation, we will be installing the DG2 model, which includes two 14-inch by 14-inch damper ceiling grills. This installation is recommended for homes that have rafters that are less than 24 inches on center. For homes with rafters that are 24 inches on center or greater, we recommend installing the DG1 model. If installing a DG1 model, the installation is very similar, so you may follow along with this video. The first step when installing the QuietCool Roof Mount Whole House Fan 4.0 DG2 model is to find a proper location to mount the fan and damper grills. This is best done by inspecting both the interior of the home as well as the roof of the home. For this installation, we located a stud and cut a small hole in the general area. We will be installing one of the ceiling grills to measure the proper location for the fan. Also, be sure to find a location that is near an existing power source. If one does not exist, you may need to run electrical on the roof. Once measured, head to the roof and make sure this location will work for the fan unit. We always recommend the fan to be installed centrally located on the roof three feet below the ridge line. Head back into the house and cut out your first damper ceiling grill hole. Now you will cut out your second damper ceiling grill hole. Be sure your second damper grill is installed in the same rafter space as the fan and the first damper ceiling grill. We recommend that you install the damper ceiling grills at equal distances from the fan. Remove all insulation between the grills and the fan hole. Once you have cut out your grill holes, mark the center point between the grills with a screw through the roof. Head back to the roof and find the screw. Remove the shingle material around the screw, giving you ample space around the location of the fan. Place your template centered over the screw and trace your fan hole. Now, cut out and remove the roof decking around the traced fan hole. Clear any insulation that exists inside the rafter cavity. The roof mount whole house fan is designed for roof rafters that have a spacing of 24 inches or greater on center. In this installation, the roof rafters are less than 24 inches on center, so we will center the fan unit over the bay in which we are installing the fan and damper grills. In this scenario, a few inches of the fan hole will overhang into another bay on either side. As long as the other bays are sealed, this should not be an issue as the air will only pull from the damper grills within the center bay. If there is venting or blown-in insulation in the adjacent bay, we recommend sealing it off. We recommend blocking the cavity on the side of the grill openings opposite the fan unit. This will prevent the fan from pulling the insulation through the fan during operation. Remove the collar on the roof mount whole house fan 4.0 fan unit as it will not be used in this application. Next, you will perform your electrical connections inside of the cavity. Important, wiring diagrams are for examples only. Wiring should be done by a licensed electrician following local building and electrical codes and or NEC guidelines. If you're installing this fan unit in new construction, please note that if the use of arc fault breakers are 100% implemented in the home, or if the fan is being installed in a wet area such as a bathroom, you may be required to wire a dedicated circuit for the fan. Note that the fan came pre-wired to a power cord for testing purposes before installation. For this installation, we installed a power outlet in the cavity to plug the fan in with the included power cord. If you would like to hardwire the fan, or if it is required by the local building codes, please follow the wiring instructions in your owner's manual. Apply weatherproof sealant to the roof where the fan will be installed. Be sure to apply a generous amount to create a weather-tight seal. Plug the fan in and make sure the fan operates properly and the wireless RF switch is paired. Align the fan with a cutout hole and press down firmly to ensure a tight seal. Remove the fan hood and install roofing nails around the perimeter of the flashing.
Using weatherproof sealant and roofing nails, reinstall shingle material around the fan unit. For a clean install, trim shingles around the fan housing in a circular pattern. Reinstall the fan hood and remove the protective film. Now head back into the house and install the damper sealing grills. We recommend installing the damper sealing grills so that the doors open away from the fan unit. You're done, the fan is now installed.